This is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this video I am going to show you and demonstrate for you the differences between Photoshop and Lightroom. So one of the biggest questions that I get asked on a consistent basis is what's the difference between Photoshop and Lightroom? And from upcoming photographers asking me, well, which photo editing program should I choose, Photoshop or Lightroom? So I'm here to show you the differences between the two programs what their strengths are and what they can be used for and not just to answer which program you should be using but how you should be using both with each other to create this really amazing photo processing powerhouse. Okay so we're gonna get started with Lightroom. Lightroom is my go-to editing program if you don't know anything about me um, I edit all of my photos in Lightroom, about 99% of all of my editing is done in Lightroom. So um, Lightroom, in a nutshell, is a photo processing and an image organizing software. So as far as organization goes, Lightroom is phenomenal. You can keep all of your photos organized over here in the catalog, in your folder hierarchy system keeps everything really neat and tidy. You have all of your metadata over here that you can reference at any given time. You can reference any photos that you want at any time that you want um, by plugging in the information. So I'm not going to show you all of these things in this video, but I'm just trying to explain what Lightroom can be used for. So it's not it's not a program where you dump all your photos in, it's actually your photos are actually on your hard drive, but Lightroom references them. Lightroom is also non-destructive to your RAW files, so if you're shooting in RAW and you're coming in in Lightroom and doing some editing, it's not going to change any of your original files. So then you come over here to the develop module and you can see all of the different panels over here. You have your basic panel where you can change the temperature, exposure, all of these different sliders. You can come over here and change the tone curve. Um, there's all of these different effects that you can choose in the develop module. And up here is your histogram. So you can see the before and after of how I edited this photo in Lightroom. So then when you're done, you can export this photo, and it's not going to make any changes onto your original RAW file. You can also work through these different modules, which makes it really workflow efficient for photographers. Um, you can create um, custom books and have them printed. You can create slideshows. You can come over here to the print module, and you can create these collages. I use these collages all the time for blogging purposes. It really saves me a lot of time. As you can see, I have all of these over here on the left side. Um, I could just come over here and pick one and just drag and drop these different photos. And uh, We won't do that one. And I can just print it to file and then it's saved to wherever, wherever I want it saved and then I can put these on my blog or I can share them in my social media and it really saves me a lot of time doing this in Lightroom. Now you can do things like this in Photoshop which is what makes Photoshop so great. Um, so anyways Lightroom in a nutshell is allows for viewing, organizing, and retouching a large number of photos. So if you're a portrait photographer and you have a lot of photos to edit from one given session Lightroom is the perfect ed editing solution for you. Photoshop, on the other hand, let's go to Photoshop. Photoshop is a whole other beast. <laughs> it's very, very complex, um, but it is a great, great, great program. So I'm just going to open a photo. We're going to come over here. Oh, I didn't have this saved, so I'm going to have to look in my pictures really quick. 
Now I know where these are because these are my actually this is actually my Lightroom catalog um, where my Lightroom photos are stored. So I'm just going to open the same folder. And here we go. And let's just open this photo. So when you open a raw file in Photoshop, you're going to see this panel. And there's going to be all of these different tabs that you can click on in Camera Raw. This is essentially set up the exact same way as Lightroom. The only difference is you don't have your film strip down here where you can see all of your photos at one time. Um, and it's not as workflow efficient. But you can do the same things in Camera Raw that you can in Lightroom. So this is really great. So if you're already familiar with Camera Raw, then Lightroom is going to be a breeze for you to start editing in. And if you're already familiar with Lightroom, then Camera Raw is going to be really easy for you to get acquainted with. So I'm not going to make any adjustments to this. I'm just going to open the image as is. And it's going to read the raw format. And when you're in Photoshop, you can do so much with your photos. It's not just a photo editing software. It's a graphics editor and an image manipulation um, software. So you can do all sorts of crazy effects to your photos. So this is where you want to come if you want to do more creative editing, if you need to change out uh, faces for like facial expressions. I do a lot of head swaps in Photoshop that you can't do in Lightroom. You can change the background. So I could, you know, outline their little bodies and I could put it on a different background. You can't do that in Lightroom. Um, you can come over here and you can add a new layer. I'll just name it layer one and you could fill it with um, a color. Um, I'm just going to fill it with whatever color this is and I can come down here and change the opacity and I can just fill it with different colors or different effects. I could add in tone curves to these layers. I can do so many things to manipulate the pixels in this image where in Lightroom you can't do any of that. Another great thing about Photoshop if you are wanting to start a photography business is that you can create your own graphics. Um, I do all of my graphic design in Photoshop. Um, I created my own logo and I do all of my marketing materials in Photoshop aside from my blog boards which I always do in Lightroom. So I'm just going to create this new document and you can come over here and you can you know do whatever type in whatever you want so photo Photoshop and you can come over here and you can change the colors you can do so much and you can add photos whatnot and I'm not going to get into any detail as far as how to do this or whatnot but it's just just wanted to show you the power of Photoshop and what it's used for in conjunction with Lightroom so that's basically what Photoshop does in a nutshell. There's so much to be explored. And if you're not familiar with it, I really highly encourage you to learn more. Um, I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of this video for you to check out my course, The Lightroom Lush, and another course offered by Photographer's Connection, The Photoshop Fanatic. And really, basically, it boils down to not one or the other, but which, but both, using both in relation with each other to reach your goals in photography and to really bring out the best in your photos. So I hope you found this useful, and thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.